So Jaden Sancho and Eric Ten Hag had a go at each other after that defeat at Emirates. Ten Hag made it public that Sancho was omitted from the squad due to poor performances in training. However, moments after the message got escalated, the forward came out with a reply to deny what the manager had said. According to Jaden Sancho, he's been made a scapegoat in situations such as this for a long time. And so, we shouldn't believe what Eric Ten Hag had told the press. As many may share the sentiment in Sancho's message, it was similar reasons. He's often been left out of the England squad by Gary Southgate. Even in Dortmund and Man City, he's reported to have escaped training sessions on several occasions. And at United, recall, Sancho was barely used by Ole, even though he had purchased him at United. Ralph Rannick came in and still, Jadon Sancho failed to make the team on a regular basis. Here is a player Ten Hag personally gave him coaches to have him trained in Netherlands, brought him back, yet somehow the product the manager wanted still isn't there. For Eric Ten Hag to come out publicly to expose his own player is something rare. Even Maguire in his ways, the year after his blunders, he jumps in to defend them publicly. We as fans may not know the full story, but I think Eric Ten Hag knows much more than us. And even with the poetry evidence in the public domain, such as this video snippet of his training behavior, we are going to trust the manager to do his job. Sancho is on a hopping 350k a week. He's got the potential, no doubt, shows flashes of what he's capable of when on his day. However, I believe there's an attitude problem behind the scenes we are not seeing from our standpoint which needs to be sorted. Poba had his own with Jose Moreno at United and caused a mess at the club. The manager knows much and trusts he knows what he's saying. Fellow Red Devils, you can feel free to leave your thoughts on this in the comment section.